towns and villages started asking themselves, well, couldn't we just zone it out? Couldn't we just say as a town, uh, we don't want this kind of industrial activity. It's not part of our comprehensive plan for ourselves. And that, in fact, is the tack that a number of towns in New York have taken. And, and one of them is the town that I live in. So our town board simply banned fracking. And our, a village town across the lake from us, a little town of Dryden, New York, fo followed in this, and they also banned fracking by, use, by sort of invoking their right to uh, protect their citizenry from industrial practice they just didn't think was appropriate for the rest of the town because maybe they have a tourist economy, they just, whatever the reason, they just have a different vision for their own development. And in New York, where home rule is, uh, kind of has a time-honored value, uh, that was respected. Except that the gas industry uh, cried foul. Because if there's a whole patchwork of towns, some saying yes and some saying no, and they have to unroll across the landscape this whole interconnected network, right? It only gets a gas, so you have to like, it all has to flow through one big spider web of a system, then that makes it imp kind of impossible for them to work. So um, the Anschutz company, owned by Philip Anschutz, um, sued the town of Dryden. And it claimed that Dryden had no right to regulate the gas industry because only the state could do that. So the town was outside of its jurisdiction in banning fracking. My town across the lake um, held a fundraiser to uh, help file an amicus brief in support of our sister town. And uh, we held it in the local pub and we raised $24,000, which seems like a lot of money for a fundraiser in a village pub in a, in a village where like 1,200 people live, right? Um, and I contributed to that and it was all very exciting. But then you turn around and you realize the guy who owns this company, um, who's our you know, opponent in all this, is according to Fortune Magazine, the 34th most richest man in America and he's got a worth of like seven billion. And so you're imagining, you know, like these little towns, like the Tiananmen Square scene where we're standing against this line of tanks and you just wonder how long is this going to hold? And a lot of people thought we were just throwing money down a rat hole. But we prevailed and, um, and it came to trial and the little village of Dryden won. We won. So the judge ruled that yes, the town has the right to decide um, what kind of industry it will allow into its town. And, and the argument that, you know, look, we're not trying to regulate you, we're just trying to ban you, we're zoning you out. That argument held, right? That we can't tell the industry how to frack or to use, you know, a certain kind of well casing. That would be a regulatory decision that truly the state can only do. But we could say yay or nay to whether we wanted it or not. And so the judge upheld that. Of course, then it was appealed. So we'll see.